Hey, it's Christopher Not Walking. The Dirty Nerdy Show starts now. Now, before we get started, I just want to give a shout out to today's sponsor. Guys, do you like windows that aren't on your computer? I do, but sometimes it's summertime. And when it's summertime, you got to put some curtains on it. So today's sponsor is Curtains. Get some. Also, I would like to thank our other sponsor for today's video, Airbeds. Now, you might be asking, which Airbed company? And I'm just going to tell you right now, all of them. Now, without further ado, let's announce my co-host. Let's introduce her. Hey, what's going on? Deanna Diamond is back, you guys. Hey, guys. I am back from my weird hiatus, and I am here. <laughs> Yeah, she was gone for three whole weeks. I looked on the calendar. <laughs> you were counting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sad. Okay, so since I'm back, I decided I would come up with what's happening with today. Yeah, which means I did nothing. Yeah, that means Chris did absolutely nothing. I wasn't even allowed to make the, the thumbnail. Deanna's going to make the thumbnail. I never said that. I know, but I just put it on the show, so now you have to make the thumbnail. <laughs> Damn it! Okay, I got this. I got this, guys. So we could always just make Katie do it. By the way. Oh, that's true. The producer is <laughs> going to make the thumbnail. Yeah. You called it. It's on the show. You're doing it, Katie. Yeah. Um. <laughs> you didn't. You, you didn't have to at first. I was totally going to go with it. But guess what? You're doing it. Okay. So. I actually have notes today. I'm, like, prepared. She has notes. She never has notes. In the entire three-month span of this show, almost four months, actually, in the entire four months of this show, plus the two months it took to plan the show before we even had episode one, this girl never had notes. No, okay? I was literally just, like, pulling things out of my butt. I had notes. Today, I have zero notes. Deanna has all the notes. So, I know, it's fantastic. So, I don't know what's going to happen. So, what do you got for us? So, my thing that's been on my brain is, since I've been gone for what you say is three weeks, um, I'm assuming that you're correct. So, in the past three weeks, I have had uh, what you would call nerdgasms over things. <clears throat> so, I decided to tell Chris to pick five things he's been nerdgasming over, and I would do the same. I, so I, 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 I did not. I know. He's he's not prepared. So I'm going to talk about mine so he can brainstorm in that lovely head of his. So the first one is is a fellow YouTuber who goes by the name of Bunny, but her YouTube name is uh, Graveyard Girl. So many she, names to remember. It, they got it. She's very famous, actually. But she mostly does... um. Videos like, does this thing really work? And she'll buy things off the television and let you know if they work. Yo, you should bring her on the show. Ask her if this show works. I will I will try. <laughs> and she also does fashion and makeup. Now, her favorite store in, like, the whole world is Ulta, which is a beauty supply store. Yeah. And um, I want to say that, like, she's probably spent more money there than I've spent in my life. Uh-huh. And so, Ulta created her own makeup line. What? Yeah, and it's called Swamp Queen because she's from an area with swamps and she called herself the Swamp Queen. Um, Is she from the bayou? Sort of. She's near that area. She's Does down she... south somewhere. I can't remember off the top of my head. Does she have that accent? I love that accent. She does have a slight accent. That Louisiana accent? Oh my god, it's so great. But I think, I want to say she's in Texas. I can't remember off the top of my head. But I could be wrong. Don't listen to me. Um, she's on Earth, man. She's on Earth, yes. She's That's... in the United States of America on Earth. Um, But I was like, wow, I'm poor. I can't afford this makeup. But guess who can? My little sister. So she bought it for herself. Did you rob your sister? No, I didn't rob my sister. I'm not that mean. But I got to look at it, and it is, like, 
the most nerdgasm-y thing for people who enjoy makeup. Did you touch it? I did. I touched it. What did it feel like? Like A-plus makeup. Nice. Now, <clears throat> my second nerdgasm thing. Wait, I just want to touch on makeup really quick. Oh. Because I do have something. We have a special effects makeup artist that is coming on the show very soon. And I think you'll be excited for this. I promised Katie she could be in the video because Katie loves makeup. That's fine. So I was like, I was like, all right, Katie, you can be in the video. Um, but yeah, uh, we've got that coming. And uh, I don't want to say her name yet because it's a surprise. But uh, Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. So make it a surprise. Also, you know, if people cancel, you don't say their name. Yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah. Just in case. That's and, a little thing that people taught me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, keep it a surprise because everyone loves surprises. I love surprises. Okay. And it's speaking. What's oh. your second thing? Oh, I was going to say, speaking of surprises, once upon a time, me and my lovely Hispando, which is my husband, who's sitting on the couch near me, um, were invited to a wedding and are in the wedding. Is it your wedding? No, it's it's not our wedding. It's my best friend Joe's wedding. Because in case you didn't know, you're invited to that one too. Yes, I would hope so. Yeah. Imagine not invited to my own wedding. Um... But what I didn't know until like a few months in is that it's a Lord of the Rings themed wedding. What? Yes. And he wants all the colors to be like earthy greens and stuff like that. And all the groomsmen are supposed to have swords. I want, I don't even know these people, but I want to go. Right. And guess what? It's actually closer to you because it's in Georgia. Oh, my God. Let me be your plus one. You can be. I'll totally go. Like, just pick me up, man. Let's do this. <laughs> just throw you in the car. <laughs> yeah. I'll totally go. I'll get, like... Can I'll... I put elf ears on you? You could put Spock ears. Yeah! Totally. Speaking of Spock, I have to talk about this because I want this... More than I have wanted anything in the history of ever, Diana. This is your nerdgasm moment. Go for it. Okay. So, you know how I have trouble sleeping? And sometimes I listen to, like, white noise videos that are, like, 12 hours long on YouTube just to fall asleep? Yes. I don't have to do that anymore. Okay? Now, what have you found? Oh, my God. So, on on thankgeek.com... They got this thing. It's called a Star Trek uh, noise machine. It's a white noise machine for Star Trek. And it plays like the engine sounds of like all the shows. And it's like, holy crap. And there's even an alarm clock on there. So when you set the alarm and when it goes off, it does the red alert klaxon. <laughs> and guess what? There's a Think Geek store near me. And I feel like I should check the store like weekly to see if the price goes down. You should do this. They they did this specifically for like the 50th. Oh, well, yeah. that's good. Now, speaking of, oh, excuse me, nerdgasms over things that are now going into like the television realm, since you just totally like freaked out over Star Trek. Uh, <laughs> I do that daily. I know. Um, another thing that I've been nerdgasming over is the show Preacher. I love Preacher. And it has been great so far. I'm hoping, like, the television does not ruin it. Um, and the fact that they're going to make action figures for it. (laughs) And it got renewed for a second season. That's amazing. The show so far has been completely awesome. I'm hoping it doesn't do what other shows do and kind of have, like, a lull for, like, the second season. Where, like, it's not as good. Or it starts to get boring. Yeah. <clears throat> Which a, sh- a few shows have done to me. Um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., we're looking at you. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, and then another thing that you were actually around for, because I messaged you as soon as this happened, was Chris Hardwick, who is um, one of the hosts on The Talking Dead, 
and he has a show called At Midnight, and, and he has and his he, comedy special, Fun Comfortable. And he runs The Nerdist. Yes, yes, he does. I tweeted him to let him know that his uh, Fun Comfortable special was fantastic and hilarious, and I almost peed my pants. And he tweeted me back. She was super excited about this, you guys. And it was the same day that, like, the producer, the director of Sharknado added me on Twitter. Hold on. We're about to fight. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, who is this person with, like, a little check mark next to his name? Because it makes it look all, like, official. And he started following me. And I'm like, who is this? So I had to, like, click on his name because usually I don't. Like, a lot of people follow me and I, like, unless they look interesting i don't really look through their twitter so i clicked it and it was like the sharknado dude and i was like oh my god and then i had another check mark dude and i was like who is this so i click him and he was in the movie a christmas story and i was like where did these two famous people just come from to follow me i want one of those little check marks <laughs> I deserve one. I'm Christopher Not Walking. I've had at least three shows. I mean, give me a check mark, Twitter. <laughs> now, the last nerdgasm thing that I have that's not really as exciting as everything else that I talked about really? is my little Bioshock key that I got in my loot crate. That's actually, like, real dope. It's really cool. It's a birdcage key from Bioshock Infinite. And you can bring it to the store and make it your house key. Yeah. So if you need an extra house key, do that. And speaking of Bioshock, they're going to remaster the three of them. And they'll be out in full. Yeah. That's going to be great. Speaking of video games, um, I was watching all the E3 coverage. Yes. And I don't mean to bring back Star Trek, but I'm going to. <laughs> Go ahead. There are two games that got me excited. Okay, the first one was all right. Th they're doing a Spider-Man type game, and it's like kind of like free roam, kind of how. Uh, oh yes, I feel like you told me about this. Yeah, kind of how like the Arkham Batman games were. Yep. So like, I'm super excited about that. Oh, and. They're having Star Trek virtual reality. And That's freaking cool. It's really cool. You get to uh, be like an officer on like a starship. And you have like your specific role and everybody has to work together. And if you don't work together, you're going to fail. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'd fail. Uh, <laughs> speaking of video games, this has nothing to do with E3 though. Um... I interviewed my husband about the new Final Fantasy MMO for Android and iOS. Yeah, she did. Because it's brand spanking new. And it's one of those games that I feel like lots of people will have on their phones. And I asked him, you know, like, what was good about it? What's bad about it? Like, anything that's uh, about the game without giving away... Like, spoilers. Yeah. And so, he really honestly could not come up with a flaw with it yet, because it's so new that he's only been playing it for, like, two days. But, one flaw that we did figure out was that if you want to spend your real-world money on, like, perks and things, it's expensive. Like, most games for phones, like, they'll, like, hustle a dollar out of you. Maybe two dollars. But this game wants some real money. That's rude, Final Fantasy. Now, one his favorite good thing about this game was that it's extremely similar to the older Final Fantasy games. Is it? Yeah. I'm trying to think of a way to transition to Japan, because I want to talk about Japan for a while. Okay. Well, Final Fantasy is kind of linked with that yeah 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 you just start talking about japan now go uh, for it you uh, brought it up 
You did this. Okay. For real, uh, I saw a video on the YouTubes where somebody from SourceFed went over to Japan, right? And they went into one of those love hotels. Oh, no. And now I want to go in one. I don't want to take a hook or anything. <laughs> I, I just I just want to go in and see what they got. <laughs> Actually, they're one of the cheaper hotels to stay in. Oh, for real? Yeah, a lot of uh, travelers actually stay in them just because they're cheaper. So, that's an option. Those, I'm going to keep it, like, everything looks hella tiny over there. Like, the doorways. It is. Like, it's, it's not cripple friendly. It No, it's not at all. Especially because you would literally have to climb into bed. No, I don't, you know what, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm... I would assume they have cripple-friendly things. It's just you would have to search very hard. I mean, it's whatever. I'm mad. We could <laughs> still go to, like, the United Kingdom if it's still no, there. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Not at the moment. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. It, it, it went boom. That whole Brexit thing ruined it they for right now. They exited. And, like, I'm not even going to pretend to know anything about British and European politics. But, like, people I know that never graduated were, like, writing thesis papers on Facebook <laughs> about, <laughs> about how this was either good or bad. And I'm like, you just got to look at the stocks to know this ain't very good. Yeah, this, oh my god, the stock market went... Yeah. Now, to shy away from suddenly in Europe... Uh, <laughs> meanwhile, in Europe... Meanwhile, in the United States of America... Uh, <laughs> let's talk about movies for like two seconds. Yeah. Wreck-It Ralph is getting a sequel, which I didn't know about, but apparently Chris knew about. Whatever. Um, that's I've... my favorite. I only know about it because Katie, our lovely producer, was like, hey, this is a movie now that's happening. Number two. I was like, cool. And then It's was... my favorite movie. You don't understand. Wreck-It Ralph is like my, ah, my favorite. And it's getting a sequel, and it's coming out March 9th, 2018, which I kind of want to cry. And um, But I want to know something. Am I just going to assume that you're doing the review for that one? Yes. And uh, <laughs> I want to know where my uh, sequel to The Incredibles is. It's happening. It, it's taking too long. It's happening. Well, Finding Dory took like 10 Forever. Nine, oh, my God. I don't even know how many years. And I still haven't seen it yet because I don't like crowds. So, like, <laughs> I haven't, like, wandered to the movie theater. <laughs> Somebody has to review that new Tarzan movie, by the way. No, not happening. Nope. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope. You can do it, not me. Ah. You don't want to see Margot Barabi and then, like... I don't want to see that movie at all. I don't care who's in it. You could be like, Nicolas Cage is playing Tarzan, and I'd still be like, nope. I don't think you would go see anything that Nicolas oh, Cage Oh, I would. I would just to laugh. That'd be the best... What? That'd be the best movie ever. Nicolas Cage as Tarzan? I'd sit through that. No. You know so, what I want to see Nicolas Cage do? What? I want to see him do, like, a sneaker commercial. <laughs> and, like, in his accent, go to somebody with, like, terrible shoes and just be like, What are those? <laughs> happen could someone tweet nicholas cage i think that would be the greatest thing ever we'll tweet him now off the topic of nicholas cage because i i did that sorry uh <laughs> let's talk about david bowie are you ready did you know that we could be heroes just for like one day <laughs> oh okay so Moving on. Uh, David Bowie 
who is well known for his movie The Labyrinth. Yeah. As Jareth, the Goblin King. The Goblin King. And I love that movie. And I could watch it a million bazillion times. Now, I can collect everything from that movie. Do you know why? Because they're going to make pop figures of them. And you know what? The first one I'm going to get is the caterpillar in that movie. Yes. Yes. Or Ludo, the big monster thingy. We should talk about Loot Crate's absolute lack of loot last month. Oh, my God. That was horrible. Speaking of nerdy things, this is not a nerdgasm. This is a nerd failure. It makes me so angry. She's um, mad. I she's, am mad. She's going, Ugh. remember that time on an episode where she was like, I am angry. It's like that, where she shows no anger, but she just says it. I am angry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's how my anger goes. I just go, I am angry, and I like do little arm motions. Um, so... Loot Crate disappointed me last month. Yeah. I got to my mailbox and was like, oh, yeah, Loot Crate, yeah. So I bring it home, and me and my husband open it. And then what happened? It. I look at the theme, and it's like dystopian fiction, which I'm not a big fan of anything that's dystopian fiction, really, to be honest. But I was like, hey, I'll give it a chance. But what's right on top of my box Terminator 2 plaque thingy. And I'm like, oh no. This box is going to stink. So, it was filled with Terminator and RoboCop. At least they weren't filled with Kindergarten Cop. (laughs) If it had Kindergarten Cop in it, I would have peed my pants. (laughs) I low-key love that movie. Like, for real. I I do too. But... (laughs) The only two good things in that box yeah. was I got, like, a little figurine, or was it, like, a puzzle? Something. It was it was a puzzle, right? Yeah, it was a puzzle from The Matrix, which is kind of neat, because I love that movie. But whatever. And the Bioshock key that I can make into my house key. Yeah, that was the aforementioned uh, Bioshock key that she talked about a little while ago. But the thing is, is those were the only two good things in the box. What's in the box? Um, but yeah. You, like you know what they should send you in the box? Beef not jerky. Someone's head? I don't eat beef jerky. I do. And then I would send it to you because I'd be like, ew. So like all the ew things are you just gonna send to me now? Yes. Which are all the things you like, so Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Which is pretty sad because we got like a whole bunch of free beef jerky. Yeah. But this is before we went vegan and vegetarian, so we ate it all. What? Yeah, I'm sorry. But if that happens again, I'll send it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there's a company who shall not be named. Is but... it Voldemort? No, but it's, it's <laughs> a beef jerky company, and I had our producers email them and be like... Who doesn't like, know who Voldemort is? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we have to talk about that. We have to talk about that. I was just going to put a beef jerky company on blast, but we could talk about this instead and put our producer on blast. <laughs> Katie, the producer, has not seen Harry Potter, and we need to come up with a game plan to make her watch these. Uh, Watch it or else you're not the producer anymore because one of my favorite movie series. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do that. We can't. Uh, that was mean. I'm sorry. But it's Harry Potter. Like, come on. She said, all right, in her defense, she was really young when the first one came out and it scared her a little bit. How old is she? She's 19. Okay. I, I guess. But how many years has it been? been forever like like she thought that Hermione was a ginger well that's Ron (laughs) Ron is the ginger we have so much to teach her (laughs) 
We shall take you're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no. Like if I go up to her and I say that hey, so and so looks like Hagrid, she's not gonna get the joke. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. I know somebody that looks like Hagrid. I'm not that's, gonna name that person. That's kinda sad too. I will it, it's sad because it's a girl. Oh, oh no. Yeah. I'm not gonna name them right now. I'll do it off mic, but <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. Oh, oh Speaking of your whole beef jerky blast, blah, 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 blah. You have to mention the cookies. Uh, hey, guys. <laughs> do you like cookies? We do. And just for today, because tomorrow, it won't be there. It'll be over. The sale ends tomorrow. So, hey, guys. If you like the cookies... And you like nerdy stuff, you should go to www.lazycookies.com and then go to where it says the promo codes. I don't know where it says that, but it's there. It's somewhere, okay? You go there and you put the promo code Dirty Nerdy. It doesn't matter if you capitalize, it doesn't matter if you lowercase, but it's all one word Dirty Nerdy. And you do that, you get 15% off all purchases. Go do that. Get you some and cookies. Why are you not getting cookies? You should be having cookies right now. You should be in a diabetic coma from all of the cookies. And if you're not, you're missing out. And that's all I really got to say about the matter. Back to you, Deanna. I was going to say, if you can't remember all of that, we will put it down below, I promise you. It's going to go there. <laughs> now, I want to talk about something. Yeah. But I can't remember. Um, so it's going to be up to you to figure out something because I can't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, I have decided that well, I'm mad at Netflix right now. Oh, no. What happened? I'm mad, too. Netflix did something mean to me. What did they do to you? First, they get rid of Doctor Who. Yeah. And I cry. Yeah. Second, they get rid of my Japanese horror movies. Rude. And I cry more. Mm-hmm. Third, they got rid of Adventure Time. Yeah. And I cried even more. So then, I was like, they have to have something I can watch. So then I spent my whole morning watching Courage the Cowardly Dog. While eating pancakes. You know what they do have, though, that's pretty awesome? What? Bob Ross. Yes, I know that. My friend fell asleep to it the other day. It's so easy to fall asleep to it. <laughs> so everyone's so hyped up about Orange is the New Black, but yet all my stuff is gone. Yeah, I haven't seen Orange is the New Black. My little sister started watching it. Like, I've seen came... it. I just haven't seen this season. I haven't had time. Yeah. We're putting out I... content for you guys every day, so like, I haven't had a minute to watch it. Yeah, but like... I never watched it, ever. Like, I knew what it was about. I knew the characters, whatever. But I never, like, sat down and watched it. Yeah. And my little sister started watching it, which she should not, because it's totally not in her age range. Um, but whatevs. Um, so she comes over. Young people can go to jail, too. Yeah, but there's things that she shouldn't be watching in that show. If she's in jail, she's going to know about those things. True facts. Um, but she comes over and she wants to watch Orange is the New Black. And I go, yeah, whatever, you can put it on. I have a smart TV. Just do it. Um. It plays so Law she... and Order. That's <laughs> all it plays. It's Law and Order and Criminal Minds. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> so she puts it on and I actually sat down and watched it and it was enjoyable. But, like, I don't have time to sit down and watch from the beginning. Yeah. So, like, I have a feeling it's a great show. But I don't have time to watch said great show because I'm usually drinking coffee, watching Law and Order reruns, and Criminal Minds, and then I'm running to work, and then I come home and do the same thing. Yeah, she has an obsession with Law and Order. And uh, it, it's unhealthy. It is unhealthy. Uh, but I'm pretty sure she could solve a case. Most likely, yes. 
<laughs> you ever watch those like cop shows and like you figure out who did it within like like the from first... the beginning yeah yeah and i'm like that dude did it and then you think that that you could probably solve shit in like real life so then when something happens like in real life you're like i could solve that so you start like investigating and then your search history is all weird <laughs> you're looking up this one particular case that you heard on the news I can't be the only one no like I always think I can solve random crimes and stuff ladies and gentlemen <laughs> So, <laughs> Deanna thinks that she can type to me and it doesn't get picked up, but it does. It does? It does? Damn it. Yeah. So, Sorry. Uh, I tried. I was trying to be sneaky. Low key, uh, um, she, she wrote me a little message and I want you all to know that uh, Deanna has to go to the bathroom, you guys. So I'm going to talk for a few minutes about anything, and she's going to go pee. And my whole house will be quiet as possible while you do that. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for being understanding. Yeah. Okay. First of all, have you guys heard of our new sponsor? I just want to talk about our new sponsor real quick. Um, Airbeds. They're amazing. And you should get one. If you like airbeds and you're like, hey, I like sleeping on air, you should get an airbed. Also, if you like the shade, you know, maybe you should get some curtains for your windows that aren't in your computer. Yeah, you should do that. That would be great. You should definitely get that. Also, I really wanted to talk about this because I thought it was amazing. And, um, stuff. Because, yeah, uh, I don't know what we're doing right here, right now. Um, we're just filling in time. Time's being filled in. Because... Diana went that way and uh yeah so uh basically in conclusion <laughs> I think that Samoas are the best cookie of all oh my god they totally are I don't know what I came back to but that's my favorite cookie you came back to nothing I was just saying words oh but that's my favorite cookie okay uh <laughs> So, I just got the, the living cock I scared out of me. Yeah? Yeah. I'm sitting on the toilet. Sorry, guys. And, sitting uh, on the toilet. <laughs> and my cats know how to open the bathroom door. Yeah. But I hear both the cats in a different room. And the door just starts slowly opening. Yeah. Like, as I'm using the bathroom. And then, my husband's head pops in. Which confused me. Yeah. To ask me if I wanted pancakes. Did you want pancakes? No, but it scared me because the, the door was opening by itself and his arm was not there. It was just like open, open, open head. I don't like scary movies. Oh, I do. Like, I watched that movie, The Shallows. And how scary was it? Because I don't like sharky movies. I mean... Wasn't that scary? It wasn't scary at all. Um, it, 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 uh, we 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 have a new rating system, mm -hmm. and it's if it's bad, it's dirty. If it's good, it's nerdy. Okay, got it. I gave it a nerdy, basically because Blake Lively's in a bikini for an hour and a half. <laughs> The thing is, is, like, I like shark movies. Like, I, I saw, obviously, I saw Jaws and stuff like that. And, like, but, like, the newer ones, like, this kind of shark movie doesn't entertain me. 
It was um, all right. Sharknado entertained me just from like, like what? Like that's what I did the whole time was just what? Yeah. And like um, uh, Mega Shark versus the Crocosaurus, like things like that are well, highly entertaining. Well, in this movie, uh, they did explain why the shark was behaving the way it was. Yes, you told me this. But uh, I don't want to spoil it for people. That we already did a, a spoilers review. Oh, okay. I was about to say I don't want to spoil it again just in case people skip that video. Nobody skipped that video. You should watch that video twice. Give us money. Um, <laughs> uh, Give us money. Watch the ads twice. Give us all the money. <laughs> Um, but yeah, okay, so basically, uh, the shark, you know, um, it got injured. It was an injured shark. And, uh, the girl, Blake Lively's character, swam up on a a dead whale carcass, which was the shark's feeding ground, and it was already injured. Oh. So it was like, hey. And plus she was wearing a wetsuit, and to a shark... You're just that a looks seal. like a seal. Yeah. My house smells of pancakes. Sorry. I'm Standing. jealous right now. Making pancakes, making bacon pancakes. I'm probably going to cut out the entire part where you went to the bathroom. That's fine. Because I had nothing to talk about. <laughs> you can keep it. I feel like it's entertaining. It was for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I was only gone for like a minute. <laughs> it was for a minute. And I was like, I was quick. I was like, yo, I got things to do. <laughs> it was good, and then it was bad. I-, I plugged our two sponsors today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Airbeds and curtains. And then you were talking about Girl Scout cookies when I came back. Yeah. I, I said a bunch of words randomly, and then okay. Samoas. Mm. Because... He hates Samoas. Because <gasps> he doesn't like coconut. I heard that you're not allowed to call them Samoas anymore. Is that because it's offensive to Samoans? I suppose so. I don't think it is, though. It's a cookie. (laughs) It's not like you're called on a football team, the Redskins. It's not the same thing. Yeah, you're right. It's not the same (laughs) thing. Although, if you are offended by it, we're not trying to offend you. Oh, no. Like, if you're totally offended, I want to know why, I guess. Like, give me, like, the full reason as to why so I can understand. Yeah. We're not judging. I'm open to learning. Yeah. We like learning things on this show. Like, oh, did you hear about the strawberry moon and how everybody was freaking out about that? And how it was like a one-time event. Yes, and I missed it. Yeah, totally. Don't worry about that, because basically every night is a one-time event. Apparent? Yes, so many things on Facebook where they're like, tonight, blah, 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 blah. And I go outside, it's cloudy. Like, it's every, <laughs> every day. Yeah, like, literally, like, but, like, on, like, a scientific level, uh, I, I was talking, I was, I was watching a video and I saw Dr. Tyson say that basically um, every night is a new configuration that you haven't seen in in ever. That's true. Like there's been nights where I see some cool stuff happening and like I have to post it on Facebook so other people can see the cool things that are happening. Yeah. Like when the moon is like gigantic and looks like it's touching the earth. It's my favorite. Yeah. When we was watching The Shallows, I went and I was like, I was high as shit. And I thought that the the jellyfish in there were aliens. I mean, jellyfish could be aliens. Did you know they're immortal? What? Yeah. What? Yeah, unless they get, like, chopped up by a boat or, like, beached. Like, they live forever. That's crazy. And I think aliens come from the ocean. You think aliens came from the ocean? Yeah. That's... Either that or they came from space and they hid in the ocean because we can't explore all of the ocean. 
here's what I, I everything came from space. Well, let's not get into this because I am like conspiracy theorist number one when it comes to this. She is. She likes all the conspiracy theories. And I'm just like, calm it down, Mulder. <laughs> you can be Scully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like complete like like gender swap. <laughs> I mean I got good hair. Yeah. I got um I got nothing that Jillian Anderson's got. She's amazing. That you know that woman's like like not not young and No, I know, and she looks like super young. Yeah, like she don't like age. No, she doesn't. You know who else I was I was creeping on 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 the social medias no. that I found does not age. No, Cindy Crawford. And it yeah, no, me, she hasn't aged. It makes me angry. I mean, I haven't really aged. No, you're you're just gonna look young forever. Meanwhile, my hair just like every few days it just goes back a little bit. And then you can be like bald and have a beard. It would look cool. I would look like Raj Al Ghul. <laughs> Like, grow out your beard, like, super, like, long and just have no hair. Oh, um, we have to talk about the Dawn of Justice, uh, special edition, Mm -hmm. the extended cut, Mm -hmm. the rated R version, Mm -hmm. just because we trashed that movie super hard. Mm-hmm. And the extended version, while it still has the problems that were there, it makes more sense. Oh, yeah. Well, that's good. <laughs> so it it went from if we were rating it on the new rating system, uh, the theatrical version would have probably got a dirty. And, and it went to nerdy. It went to nerdy. It was actually oh, that's good. it was pretty entertaining. And I found that, and I'm not the only person that said this that. The three-hour version flows a lot better than the two-and-a-half-hour version. Like, you don't feel like you're sitting there for, like, three hours. Oh, so, like, it's more smooth. Yeah. Like, you don't sit there and go, oh, my God, when is this done? Yeah, and there's more Batman stuff, so that's cool. Speaking of which, so, it's 4th of July soon. Yeah. Yeah. And I went to see fireworks. She did. She showed me video. Now, fireworks are only supposed to last 15 to 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. At most. Speaking of never ending, they went on for 45 minutes. What? Yeah. And the video I showed you was the finale, which was the only part that was good. So what'd they do? Just light off a bunch of shit? Oh, my God. They would light one off and it would go, boom, wait three seconds, light one off, boom, like for 45 minutes. That's sad. So like halfway through, I'm like, oh my God, are they done? Are they done yet? So then I got so bored that I went and ordered a pizza. Where'd you get a pizza from? Domino's. Oh, I low-key hate Domino's right now. Why? What happened? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I just feel like I miss... Like, Pizza Hut. And, like, my brother loves Domino's. Oh. I gotta tell you about my bacon adventure. Okay, go ahead. Um, like, I had never, like, fried bacon on my own. Okay, which is, it it might sound weird to some people, but cooking bacon can be hard. Yeah, I had never done it on my own. I'd always, you know, there had always been someone else around who volunteered. It was not that day. Okay? It was not that day. That's not how it happened that day. It was me. So, like, I'm like, okay, how do I do this? Do I put oil in there? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just got so scared for you. Um, Bacon make it so, it makes its own grease. That's a thing. Yeah. Uh... We should call this episode Bacon, by the way. <laughs> Make a bacon pancakes continue. Um, or we could just talk about airbeds. <laughs> you put it airbeds. 
<laughs> I mean, like, I can remember the first time I made bacon on my own. Oh, yeah, bacon. Uh, I, uh, yeah, bacon. Okay, so I put it in there, you know. I I, I had to call people. Um, I called one of my friends that I went to, like, school with when I was a kid. Yeah. And I was like, hey, you're a mom. How do I do this? Yeah, right? How do I do this? And uh, she's like, put it in a, in a cold pan. And and I'm like, okay, don't turn the heat on. Just put it in the pan. And then she's like, make sure you cut it. But I cut it too small, okay? So apparently when you cook it, it shrinks. So, yes. So basically I had a bacon bit sandwich. That's fine. It's still bacon. Um. Oops. But yeah, that was the thing that I did. Don't put me in the kitchen, you guys. I'm not good at it. Well, like, the first time I made bacon, like, I don't, when I used to eat it, I don't like it crunchy. Yeah. I like it mushy. Yeah. But I cooked it until it was crunchy. Yep. So I just gave it to everyone else in the house. Yep. When I cook bacon, I use tongs now. Oh, yes, yes. That's something I learned. Spatulas don't work well. Not with this. I used... I use uh, tongs, which is the same thing I do when I fry bologna. My bologna. Which, you know, you you do put oil in that. Yeah. So, I didn't know that I, I did it wrong. I, I thought I was going to do it wrong. I didn't do it wrong. I was going to put oil in the pan, and then that was going to be bad. And then, you know, it was. It, I, I was scared, okay? It, it was traumatizing for me. And I don't want you to judge me. Because... Also, I keep saying bacon pancakes, and that is from Adventure Time. So I want to give props to Adventure Time for creating something that people now eat. They created that? Kind of, yeah. It's There's an episode where uh, Jake the dog is cooking bacon pancakes. And he's going, making bacon pancakes, bacon pancakes. And he's literally like frying bacon inside a pancake. Can we do that? I mean, if you were closer, I'd do that for you because I don't eat bacon. But. Can we, like, is that, like, possible? Yeah, you take the you take the piece of bacon and you roll it in pancake batter and you throw it in a pan. Whoa. And then you have a bacon pancake. Whoa. Yeah, thanks, Adventure Time. Cholesterol is... through the roof. That is definitely going to give me a heart attack, but I think it's worth it. And you get to sing a catchy song while you do it. I like singing catchy songs. <laughs> Speaking of songs, we got to talk about this. I'm bringing back Star Trek. Oh, lordy. Rihanna doing that song Sledgehammer. Oh, yeah. For the Star Trek. Why? I don't know. Don't ask me. Why is this a thing that happened in life? I don't know. It's a very random thing. Yeah, uh, it's a good song, don't get me wrong. I feel like it would be better for, like, a James Bond movie. Actually, yeah, you're right. Um, but, uh... Yeah. Speaking of James Bond movies, I finally got around to seeing, uh... The last one? Yeah, the last one. (laughs) How was it? Spectre? I liked it. I did not like the theme. Oh. Sam Smith tried really hard, but he's he had to he had to follow Adele. Yeah. Which is tough. And uh speaking of Adele, I really like her new song. Do you? Yeah. What what, what was it called? I don't remember what it's called, but it's on the radio like every other song, I swear. I don't listen to the radio that much anymore. Um, oh, another sound. I do only because I drive about. children around. Another soundtrack we have to talk about is uh, we have to talk about the Suicide Squad soundtrack. Oh yes, I forgot all about that. Because Twenty One Pilots uh, did the song Heathens, and there's a video, and it's got extra footage from the movie. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, I like I like that band. I didn't. He, I've never heard of them until this. Thing. I swear, you need to listen to the radio. 
<laughs> you know I don't. I listen to my little art records. And <laughs> and that's it. <sighs> Why are you Ow. mouthing words, Diana? Because I didn't want to speak to El Husbando out loud. Are you sure in the that, show. Are you sure that he understood what you were saying, though? He did. He understood what I was saying. Yep, he's shaking his head yes. Like, okay. Uh, I call out everything now, by the way. I know. What are you doing? <laughs> you just calling me out. Like, why are you doing this? What you doing? Why are you messaging me? <laughs> Put some respect on it. Put some respect on my name. <laughs> <gasps> Yo, we gotta talk hip hop for a minute. Okay, we need to talk hip hop and we need to wrap things up. Okay, uh, Joe Budden put out a uh, a uh, um, a diss record. Uh huh. And he dissed Drake, and he like low key dissed Meek Mill. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, I I can see Drake because I diss Drake all the time, but uh, Drake disses Drake at this point. <laughs> But yeah, so like they're like trading shots right now. And shots fired. Shots fired. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's all I got. Okay. I mean, you needed to get that out there. Yeah. I got... You know what? If anyone has something else that they want us to talk about that has recently happened... And we totally missed it, even though we talked about so many things today. They yeah. should just comment on what they want us to talk about or to research, just in case we have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, we'll make Katie do the research. Yeah! Um, we'll do that. And, and make sure you check out our next video, which is either going to be the Tarzan review or... Or it's going to be part two of the classic movies series that we're doing, where we review Breakfast at Tiffany's. Yes, because Katie needs to see it. Yes. It, she liked and Roman everyone, Holiday. Everyone comment and say Katie needs to watch Harry Potter. Yes, I want you to, I want you to go to the Twitters, okay? And, and post lots of Harry Potter memes. Yes, and you tweet them. At highlight underscore me. <laughs> and be like, are you Katie from the Dirty Nerdy Show? And she'll be like, yeah. And then teach her about Harry Potter. Yes, and how wonderful it is. And if you want to be really nice, buy her the books. That too, that'd be really nice. That's a nice gift. Yeah. So, Although books are expensive. So if you already have the book and don't want to keep it, just send it. Yeah, do that. Um, <laughs> but don't buy like like the middle book and then give her that. Cause that's yeah, weird. no. But then she might get like 15 copies of the first book. Yeah. Coordinate with each other, okay? <laughs> if anything, if we get multiples, we'll just donate them to the library. Yeah. But coordinate and, and and send her copies of Harry Potter and and do that and oh you know what what comment movies or things that you think every nerdy person should see or play and if one of us hasn't seen or played it we will do that yeah do that and if yeah <laughs> that's a good idea you just got so excited. I have, I was going to add to it. I, I don't need to. Ta-da! But yeah. Deanna Diamond's you can... back, you guys. I know, and we need to wrap this thing up, but make sure you comment a movie or a video game that every nerdy person should see or play. Yeah, Deanna, do you want to do the outro? Because you haven't been here for three weeks? Um, Sort of, as long as you help me out. No, it's all you, bro. Uh, uh, all right, bro. So, yeah. so, that's our show, and you've been listening. Your name's on the building, by the way, so you can do the <laughs> outro. <laughs> this has been the Dirty Nerdy Show. 
Thanks for listening. Make sure you comment. And I'm Deanna Diamond. And where, that's Christopher Not Walking. Where can they see us on, on the uh, social medias? Oh, yeah. They can find us on Twitter and Facebook. So go check that out. The Dirty Nerdy Show. Yeah, at Dirty Nerdy Show uh, is our Twitter. The At the Dirty Nerdy Show is our Facebook. Uh, at Deanna Diamond is her Twitter. At Chris Not Walking is my Twitter. I was trying to get her to name all of those. And she did not. I can't because my brain doesn't work that fast. <laughs> but yeah, um, Diana, you you want to say it? No, you can. Bye, you guys. Bye. <laughs>